Hi, Morgan. Let's bring in Joe Hendricks, the former president of the automotive division at Ford Motor Company, uh, joining us uh, from his car today as he's headed uh, on a trip right now, but he was kind enough to join us. Uh, Joe, uh, tell us about your thoughts as you watch the uh, Rivian IPO take place and the demand for this stock continue to accelerate. Yeah, thanks, Phil. Well, a very exciting day, obviously, for the Rivian team and RJ Scarinj, you know, personally, really excited to see the strong demand for the stock. And I'm not surprised by that. You know, RJ is a great partner and friend. And when we invested, you know, back starting in 1819, really found that RJ to be a very trustworthy, you know, kind of modest, humble, you know, partner. And I'm, I'm not surprised by his success. Which raises the question, a lot of people, when they look at Rivian, they keep hearing people say, hey, it's the next Tesla. It's the company that could take on Tesla. And they immediately start saying, well, is RJ like Elon? Paint a picture of what we can expect as investors watch him and what we can expect RJ, how he'll be as a CEO. Yeah, I mean, RJ is, you know, very humble, very modest. If you think about the beginnings of this company, he started in 2009, which is probably the worst time in the world to start an auto company. He stuck with it for nine years, really, before he got major investors. And he lived in an apartment, in, you know, that my son actually lived in, you know, a complex. I'm suddenly lived in, you're, you're out of college. So that tells you the commitment that RJ had to this business over nine years. And you were talking about it today. You know, he diluted himself pretty significantly through the whole process to get the right investors, to get the right partners, whether it be Amazon or Ford or Cox or financial institutions, or even ALJ, the early investors, um, you know, down to one and a half percent of the company. So he was committed to the growth of this company in a different way than I think a lot of other people really have when they start their own companies like this. And 12-year journey, you know, obviously culminating yesterday with the IPO. But I, what we found great about RJ is he's humble, he's modest, he knew where he needed help, he searched out partners, and really had a great vision for the Rivian brand, but also for these tech and auto partners he was searching out for. Which then raises the question for investors, how confident can they be that Rivian will continue to grow from here? Already people are saying, look, they want to get to a million vehicles sold by 2030. We think they're going to get there. You know how hard this is. Why is Rivian different than, say, a Fisker or a Lucid or any other EV startup? Well, I mean, first, first of all, I think you think about the investment partners they have, whether it be Amazon, Ford or Cox, Cox for service, Ford for manufacturing, launch and, you know, stamping and body engineering and Amazon for data and software. And frankly, Amazon's their largest investor and their largest customer. So what makes Rivian so different, I think, than everybody else is they have a captive customer in Amazon. If you, had, if you could pick a company in the world you wanted to be a partner with in the logistics and vehicle space, that's one of the ones you would definitely pick. So I think that separates out Amazon, I mean, sorry, Rivian dramatically. And also go back to RJ. I mean, he's the kind of person who's committed to this for the long term. He's invested his whole life into it and sacrificed to get here. And I think you'll see him continue to do that to build the company the right way. I mean, I just want to dig into the Ford piece of this a little bit more. I mean, given the given the move we've seen in the stock since it went public yesterday, a big boon for for Ford and the stake it has. How does the company leverage this? Well, you know, I retired from Ford last year, so it wouldn't be appropriate for me to kind of talk about how they, you know, how they do it. But you can see they've already made major investment announcements for battery electric, you know, for as far as assembly plants for battery cells, also a new assembly plant for the F-150 battery electric truck in the future. They've also talked about, you know, paying off debt. So you can see where they've already started anticipating the returns they're getting and what they're doing. But, you know, we'll leave it for them to talk about it, but clearly a big windfall for Ford. And, you know, I'm happy for them. Yeah, it does seem like different companies are taking different approaches to the manufacturing process as well. Some are more vertically integrated, some uh, doing more outsourcing through this process as well. Uh, with three models rolling out at Rivian back to back, what will it take for that process to happen and how does it speak to how they're assembling these new cars? Yeah, I mean, it's an ambitious launch schedule. And I know that we were, when I was on the board you know, a couple of years ago, we spent a lot of time talking about this period of time, you know, launching the Amazon vans and the Rivian truck and SUV. And at the time, we also were working on a product for Ford and how do we schedule all that in a way. So very ambitious. And that's one of the reasons why RJ reached out and wanted to have an automotive partner, whether that be GM or Ford at that time, to help with launch and quality processes and the manufacturing engineering. And I know they've hired a lot of great people. They've got some resources from retirement out of Ford. And they really, you know, learned a lot over these years. There's still a lot to do. I mean, obviously, they're in that that, you know, manufacturing hell time frame that, you know, Elon Musk talked about in the past. But 
I have confidence they've done it the right way, they're doing it the right way, and Amazon will be a great, you know, patient customer and partner, and the Rivian products will, will also be great when they come out.